be doing the Perfect Imperfections tag. This tag is actually pretty old. Um, I remember watching these types of videos when I was in like high school and I've noticed that there's like an updated version of this tag going around. So the updated version of this tag is the three physical characteristics and one personality trait that you do and do not like about yourself. This is going to be my first video on my channel where I'm actually opening up and talking to you guys about my insecurities and whatnot. And so if you like these kinds of videos and would like for me to do more, please let me know and give this video a like. And so with that, I will get started with the tag. So, <laughs> I'm going to start off with the things I do not like about myself. <laughs> Probably my biggest insecurity is going to be these guys over here. I do not like my hands, like at all. <laughs> I don't like them. They are my biggest, biggest insecurity. I would have what you call grandma hands. And just for the purposes of this video, I will show them to you because I'm down for you guys. So these are them on a really good day. I actually um, have been treating them really kindly. They have like wrinkles. I don't know if you can see that at all. I've had them since I was a little kid and they are at a really good state right now, but at their worst, they have the tendency to crack and bleed. TMI, <laughs> but I'm, I'm sorry, I'm just being honest. I used to see dermatologists when I was little, like all the time and I was put on so many medications and nothing would really work. It's just a pain in the butt Like when I'm on a date, I don't like to hold hands because I'm just so, so insecure about them. I have been asked if I do martial arts because they're so rough and it just kind of affects me in my day-to-day -day life because, you know, they're my hands and so I tend to use them a lot when I'm cooking like spicy or like salty or sour food. If it gets on my hands, it, it can be quite a problem. If I'm playing patty cake or attempting any kind of sport, it just... It really hurts. Yeah, it's really, really bad. So I do not like my hands. So the second thing that I don't like about myself is my forehead. <laughs> yeah, I don't like my forehead. It is quite large. Um, that's why I like wearing my hair curled so it looks like not as large. <laughs> but when my hair is straight and flat, it looks humongous. I can show you guys. You see that? You see that, internet? You see the things I do for you? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not a fan. I can't wear ponytails or wear my hair up in a messy bun because I just, I, I look like a crazy person. And so if you are someone that can pull off messy buns, mad props to you, I'm jealous. The third thing that I do not like about myself is my hips. <sighs> I saw this one picture on Instagram one day and it described hips that looked like mine as violin hips, so I guess that's what they are. Um, they're little dips in the hips that just make the hip area not as smooth. And that makes it kind of hard to wear high-waisted things where the clothing is really clinging on to your hips and really accentuating them. Um, and it just kind of sucks with the trends now with like Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner or whatever the fuck. Like they have those very um, voluptuous hips that are just like the trend to show off in like Fashion Nova clothing. And I don't have those. But that doesn't really stop me from wearing tight clothing because I like, I still like my body regardless of my hips. There's nothing wrong with accentuating your body even in places that you're insecure about. Like, I'm gonna wear a tight dress whenever I feel like it. And my one personality trait that I do not like about myself is my attention span. It's really, really, really bad. Like, really bad. Like, my thoughts are all over the place, all the time. Like, all the time. It affects me when I'm trying to complete a task, like I'm painting something and I just get carried away and end up doing something else. It affects me when I'm trying to learn choreography for a dance. I just can't wrap my mind around, you know, learning steps and I can't pick things up as quickly as other people can. Yeah, my thoughts are all over the place, like all the time. Like I'll be, 
<laughs> I'll be talking to someone and then my mind just kind of just wanders, just goes off into the distance. There are a lot of other things I don't like about myself. Those are the ones that really, really irk me. And now we move on to the things that I actually do like about myself. I would say for the first thing that I like about myself, I like my smile. Uh, yes, my teeth are large. Yes, they do protrude out, but I still like to smile. I don't give a fuck. I don't know, I kind of like how my teeth are really big. <laughs> I have big ass horse teeth. But I like my horse teeth, they're cool. I guess this next thing kind of counts as a physical trait, but the second thing that I like about myself is my voice. I can entertain myself for hours using my voice. <laughs> it's kind of embarrassing. I like to sing songs to myself. I like to um, speak in different voices just for fun. I'll be like talking to myself like a crazy person. Like, hello. Like, my friends like to tell me that I. I have like different voices come out of me when I'm trying to express myself. <laughs> it's just like that's how I express myself. Like people tell me I sing when I talk, or like my voice goes up really high. I like talk in different accents. It's weird. It's weird. <laughs> and thanks to the people that have commented and said that they like my voice, that's pretty cool. Like what the fuck? <laughs> I have trouble thinking of a third thing that I genuinely really like about myself. But when it came to me, I was like, yeah, yeah, that works. Um, I really like that I'm Filipino. I've gotten a few comments on my videos asking if I'm Filipino, and yes, I am. I was born in the Philippines, I grew up in the Philippines for half of my life, and when I moved to California and went to college, I actually ended up joining a Filipino organization, and I did a lot. I had a lot of fun. to talk about with other people that are Filipino and are not Filipino and I think sharing cultures is awesome. I'm very proud of who I am. I may not speak to that look all that well, but I can make you a dope ass sinigang. I'm definitely a Filipino tita at heart. A personality trait that I really like about myself is my resourcefulness. Your girl is pretty solid at finding solutions to any problem. <laughs> Example. This is when I was in a little bit of a pinch during Halloween season and I needed a last minute red wig. I ended up buying a Princess Ariel wig. I got my $5 weave from Facebook Marketplace. I will go from Ariel to K-pop idol Jimin Park. I had to cut it up into a Jimin wig. I had to look up different cosplay tutorials on how to cut and style wig with hairspray. And so it was a mission. But look, I turned out so sexy. I know I look like a 12 year old boy, but that's besides the point. So if you're looking for any sort of completely unorthodox situation to a problem, hit a girl up. I got you, boo. I got you. And so, yeah. That concludes today's video. Um, I have no idea how tagging works, like, at all, but I'm going to choose to tag my roommate, Abiseo. Um, go check out her channel. She's actually asleep right now. I am filming at 1am. I'm sorry, Abby. I would like for you to do this tag. Go check out her channel. She does lifestyle and beauty videos. <laughs> Happy Vlogmas Day 1! <laughs> <laughs> and so if you're interested in that kind of stuff, I'm going to leave a link to her channel in my description box. So please check her out, she's awesome. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Opening up to the internet about my insecurities, no big deal. <laughs>